What up, what up, what up? In this video, we are going to talk about what a DUNS number is and how you can put in a expedited request to get it sent to you ASAP. Yes, I know you're probably seeing a bunch of my videos on the grants and loans. Maybe you decided to apply for one. In the process, they said, we need your DUNS number. Well, this video should hopefully help explain what it is and how you can get your DUNS number for your self-employed or your small business. And yes, you do not need a full on LLC or an, an S corp. Um, you can be a sole proprietor, an independent contractor, a freelancer, um, self-employed individual who has a DUNS number for your micro for your for your small business because after all as i always say if you are part of this gig economy um, if you are self-employed you do your own thing around your town and city and you report your earnings you do taxes and you say hey you know i did something over here under the table and i'm reporting my earnings when it's time to do taxes well you're basically a business then and therefore you essentially um, you know, might be eligible for a lot of these grants and a lot of these loan programs. Um, and one of the, uh, you know, criteria, one of the elements that might be asked of you is what is your DUNS number? So this video should hopefully help you with understanding what it is and how you can get one for your self-employed, for your small business. So, you know, it's about, it's literally three in the morning, Sunday morning, I'm up and, uh, you know, I'm just updating my website, acespencer.com. It's a new website that I've basically have created over the past, you know, few weeks. Um, and if you come to the help tab, you'll see that there are grants, loans, and rental app, uh, assistance programs that um, I'm basically throwing up here on my website that you guys might want to check out. So if you come to the grants page, for example, um, you'll see this graph over here that ultimately has a list of and I'm, I'm literally working on it right now I'm finishing it right now so that's why you don't see anything over here but ultimately you know a nice little easy way for you to search and look for you know a, a grant or a loan or rental assistance that's relevant to your particular town your city your area um, that you might want to check out there are some in here as well that are for all states for example so you know, if you don't see your particular state um, or maybe there's, you know, your county or your city or town, come to the all city, all states and you might find something like that as well. Or you can just search up here um, and you'll see kind of like this video here. You can watch the video that I, you know, cover um, that I recorded that covers that particular program. So thought I'd just show you guys that really quickly, because, again, if you are someone who is checking out this video, if Dunn's number is relevant to you and you know, you're looking to get yours, then these, some of these programs in here might be something that you should check out because, Hey, this is essentially free money for your business. Um, and if you're self-employed, if you work from home, um, if your small business is out of your, your apartment or your house, um, again, that's money that you can, you know, utilize towards your rent and utilities and other things that you might essentially already be spending your money on. Right. So why would you let that money go to waste? You shouldn't, you know. Um, so let's jump into Dunn's. We're here on Dunn and Bradstreet. Dunn's number um, is what you can see here. Establish your business. Find another business and drive business performance. What is a Dunn's number? Essentially, like I said, if you are someone who's doing your own little business thing, um, your, your side hustle and whatnot, but you want to be, you know, in a position to leverage and benefit from some of these grants and loan programs, um, you're probably going to need a Dunn's number. So that's why we're here checking this out. The Dunn and Bradstreet uh, Dunn's number is a unique nine digit identifier for businesses. This number is assigned once our patent identity resolution process, part of our Dunn's right methodology identifies a company as being unique from any other in the Dunn and Bradstreet data cloud. The Dunn's number is used as the starting point for a company's uh, live business identity. The most comprehensive and continually 
updated view of any company in the data cloud. Dunn's numbers are often referenced by lenders and potential business partners to help predict uh, the reliab- re- reliability and, our, and, and or financial stability of the company in question. Dunn's, which stands for Data University uh, Universal Numbering System, is used to maintain up-to-date and timely information on more than 330 million global businesses. The Dunn's number also enables identification of relationships between corporate entities, hierarchies, and uh, linkage, linkages. Um, another key element of live business identity and commercial risk assessment practices. So you might be asking, why do I need a Dunn's number? Well, the DUNS number is used around the world to identify and access information on businesses. A DUNS number identifies a company's Dunn and Bradstreet business credit file, which may include uh, firmographic data, company name, address, phone number, etc. Corporate family relationships, so headquarters, branches, subsidiaries, etc. And scores and ratings that uh, assess different financial health indicators. Taken all together, this profile of information is called the Dunn and Bradstreet Live Business Identity. Potential partners and lenders can request a business credit report about your business using your Dunn's number or other business identifiers. Equally, you can use the Dunn's number to access to access the same information about any company with which you might wish to work with. Um, because of its universal recognition and unique assignment, the DUNS number can also serve as a primary data key within an organization's master data management architecture. In this manner, the DUNS number and the connected live business identity data enables a single source of truth in the capture and storage of information related to a company's customers, partners, and suppliers. Consider Dunn and Bradstreet's unique live uh, live business identity, a dynamic descriptor of nearly every business on uh, on Earth, enabling reciprocal business relationship insight. The information in your Dunn and Bradstreet credit report comes from the live business identity of your company, enabling informed decisions about whether or not to work with your company and to what extent or under what terms. You can establish credit with lenders and expedite applications for loans and contracts. So this is, again, something, you know, a major reason why many of you watching this, um, you know, should consider getting a DUNS number. Many financial institutions look at a company's business credit report or monitor a company's live business identity anchored by the company's DUNS number when considering whether to extend credit or a grant loan or grant a loan and what terms and conditions to offer. The information in the report includes DNB, uh, scores and ratings, um, which uh, DNB Paydex, DNB Diligency Predictor Score, DNB Financial Stress Score, as well as other predictive and performance-based scores and ratings, as well as suits, liens, judgments, and other information that may help the institution make a decision. Do business with government and companies outside the United States. Companies all over the world and many government institutions perform risk assessment assessments of their potential partners or suppliers as part of the vetting process and may require a DUNS number when submitting a bid. The organization or company requesting the DUNS number can use it to help verify a company's legitimacy or to access the DNB scores and ratings in the, uh, in the bidder's business credit report. And make sure other businesses get a complete and accurate story about your business. So your DUNS number can be used to request your business credit report, which contains your company's DNB scores and ratings, as well as suits, liens, and judgments, your company's payment history, and other information that can be used to help gauge your company's credit worthiness as a customer, supplier, or partner. And so... Now, many of you watching this might be asking, well, okay, as you mentioned, in Transform, why might I need to know another company's DUNS number? 
And so if you're looking for other companies to work with and stuff and you want to check out their Dunson number, uh, you know, learn more about them, get some more insight just to see how, you know, I guess legit, how far along things are, so to speak, if they are on a good track record. Um, this is another reason you would potentially want to come to Dun and Bradstreet and check out, uh, you know, um, look up uh, uh, the Dunn's number look up over here. So if you come over to, you can get a free Dunn's number in up to 30 business days. You can click started right here. I already have a tab pulled up. And I'll add a direct link to this because um, I'm not sure exactly where where you would go in here. Um, I mean, maybe I can come here and it might have it on this page. But if you wanted to get it um, sent to you quickly. So, for example, if you are in a position where you... Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's not showing up as an option. Um, but basically, if you were literally checking out one of my other videos or if you're already doing this elsewhere and you're like, well, how do I get a Dunn's number? Uh, I will have a direct link down in the description area of this video. Um, maybe I'll add it above my head if I remember to add it um, inside the video as well um, to this form, to this page, which will allow you to get your uh, uh, expedited um you know, it can be created within one business day um, if you use this form instead of having to wait 30 business days going the other route. Um, and as you can see, this is done in Bradstreet, fedgov.dnb.com. So it is a legit uh, page and whatnot um, for you guys to do this. So we're going to walk through. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now how you can get your uh, uh, you know, expedited request of your Dunn's number for your self-employed or your, you know, LLC, your small business. All right, my friends, let's get at it. Let's get at it. As you can see, welcome to DNB um, uh, Dunn's request service for U.S. federal government contractors and assistance awardees. Dunn and Bread Street provides Dunn's number, a unique nine-digit identification number for each physical location of your business. Dunn's number assignments is free for all businesses re required to register with the U.S. federal government for contracts or grants. So click here to request your Dunn's number via the web. If one does not exist for your business location, it can be created within one business day. So we're going to get at it do it right now so please select the country or territory where your company is physically located and click continue united states is the first thing that shows up the browser version does not support some features in the application sounds good not cool but okay <clears throat> business name adam helper and I'm probably going to blur out some of this. I know sometimes people don't like it. They want to see it. But literally, it tells you everything that you need to include here. So you shouldn't have to see all of my actual information. All right. So I'm going to have an actual direct link to this page down below so that you guys can create a new Dunn's. Um, we are here on Dun and Bradstreet um, website, and the previous link that I had, it basically didn't work. I put in some information and it redirected me to this. So we're gonna go through pretty much the same steps I just went through. Um, this page is a little bit different. Um, it says well, step one: gather documentation to request a new Dun's number or modify an existing Dun's number. You will need two forms of acceptable documentation to complete the process. Um, and it says see examples of acceptable. Down, um, documentation down here. I I will pretty much use my employer identification number, my EIN, um, as well as my DBA assumed name cert, um, certificate filing, um, or because um, I don't have a Secretary of State articles because I I don't have an actual LLC yet, um, but I 
do have the two of these using utility bills could be another option for many of you guys as well if you don't actually have a dba yet but i believe you probably do need a dba um if if you are trying to be somewhat more legit instead of just using your own personal name could be mistaken i could be wrong but I'm, i have a good strong feeling about that um yeah so the annoying thing is i don't think i mean i do have my ein number i can look up um and then my dba i form i just have to like look for it then scan it and then download it and then submit it <laughs> so a few steps that will be necessary to complete this um but uh you know i might already have i'm hoping i already have it on the computer somewhere okay so welcome to dmb support for does and number submit case please select the choice below apple developer fda does and number support um, i'm going to do federal government contractors create a new duns number please select the country um, for entries within the united states it says create a new duns number within the united states there are a couple things you need before submitting your request you will need two documents to complete this process the documents must match uh, the correct legal business name and current physical address do not include personal information um, and for sole proprietorship companies ensure the documentation contains your full legal name and current physical address all right so what i was saying a moment ago with the dba maybe that is not relevant here because it says for sole proprietorships which is anyone who's basically self-employed an independent contractor freelancer you are a sole proprietorship um, it says for sole proprietorship companies, ensure the documentation contains your full legal name and current physical address. Examples of accepted documents to create a new DUNS number. And as I mentioned, I'll use my employer identification number as well as my DBA, which I think the DBA does have my actual legal name on it. Um, and... I'm actually about to be getting insurance very soon, general liability insurance. So check out uh, my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So then you can stay up to date on new videos like how to get uh, self-employed, sole proprietorship, general liability insurance. Um, you know, want to make sure you're covered and you're good. And that's one of the main reasons people go the LLC route because they want to make sure they are insured and covered. Well, with some insurance uh you know you're gonna cover your butt a bit here um not entirely the same way i don't believe because you know it's still my business and me are still one whereas if it was an llc it would be completely separate from me so a little different but um yeah it's still gonna be a good move so subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and also like this video um, it does help me. It does help the YouTube algorithm. So other people who need to know how to get a DUNS number will have a better chance to come across this video. So we're going to click proceed. Please provide your email address. This may work email address that I'm going to use. which I'll probably blur it out. Maybe not. Yeah. Thank you. Please provide your correct. Please provide your contact information. Um, so basically, first name, last name, your company, your job title, phone number, street, city, state, your zip code, and your country. We'll do submit. All right. And um, I believe business physical address if you're self-employed i think you're just going to use your home address that should work it should be fine um i guess we'll find out <laughs> if uh if it does not get approved um you know maybe i'll update you guys saying it doesn't work if it does not work 
Um, but if it does, so be it. I won't update this. I won't say anything. Um, business structure, again, if you're self-employed, you are sole proprietorship. Self-employed, independent contractor, freelancer, um, we are sole proprietorship. CEO name is going to be your name, CEO title. Uh, I usually do owner, company website, um, home based business. Must be yes, number of employees, including owner. I'll say one date business started 414. I was close. Bam. All right, so create your DUNS number. You're going to have your company name, your DBA trade style name. Pretty much the same, I believe, company name, DBA name. Well, if you're actually a business, you might have that, but then you might have a DBA for your actual company. So that makes sense. Um, I could probably remove that then and just leave Adam Helper up there, which it is my DBA, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll just keep it. Okay. Phone number. Not the same as my personal direct phone. So business physical address, which is my home address. Um, a unit, your city, your state, business uh, postal code, your business country, your business structure. Again, most of you watching this will have sole proprietorship, um, but you might have like an LLC potentially as well. Uh, but most of you are probably a sole proprietorship. CEO name, it's my personal name, owners, my title, my website, home-based business, yes, number of uh, full-time employees, including the owner, uh, one, which is me, date business started, 414, and we'll do next. Please provide additional owner, officers, directors, and managers for Adam Helper. And it's just me, so we'll do next. So now again, we, we went over this at the beginning and it said two documents that you will need for this. If you're sole proprietorship, companies ensure your documentation contains your full legal name and current physical address. So one is my employer identification number confirmation letter which I I had them send that to me. I think when I needed to do the PPP um, or the EIDL grant or, um, loan, something like that, I think that's when I first needed it sent to me. So I actually have that confirmation letter in my inbox somewhere. And then the DBA, assume name certificate filing, um, is something that I think I also had to submit when I was getting, when I was like opening up a bank a business bank account possibly is when I first had to do that. So I believe both of these are here on my computer somewhere. I think I have a file, a folder with these files in it. Um, I'm hoping I do. Um, if not, I'll have to search in my inbox and then search on my computer as well. But uh, let's give it a go. I'll probably stop the video, cut it up, edit, do a little work here, a little magic. So I just have those files appear like for this video, we got my business um, DBA certificate filing. And then we also have my EIN confirmation letter. In addition uh, to the two required legal documents, you must also attach current copy of your financial details, i.e. balance sheet, profit, and loss statement. Financial details attached. If you selected yes to attach financials, please ensure that you have uploaded your full financial statement, including um, from within the last 18 months. Now, I didn't know I was going to ask for this, so this is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I guess I'm going to just do no, because again, it does not say you need to. It says you may. So, um, yeah, we're going to do submit. Man, it's 3.40 in the morning. I am tired but i'm still up and at it we grinding over here baby so thank you your request has been submitted as case blah blah, blah. um the following 
data will be completed within 24 business hours. And I'm not exactly sure how I decided to cut this, how I decided to add this and throw this, uh, this, this updated clip into this video. But as you can see right above my head, right there pretty much, it says, I received this email at 1.34 p.m. for uh, about four, well, probably a little longer if I updated the page. But um, at 1.30 p.m. today, I received this email from Dunn and Bradstreet saying, congratulations, Adam. We completed our validation process and created your D and B Dunn's number. So I'm going to have it blurred out because I believe this is supposed to be confidential information. I'm not entirely sure. Um, cause it doesn't really say, Hey, this is like a private number that shouldn't be public. Um, maybe it is visible to other people. Again, I don't entirely know. Um, so I'm just going to blur it, play it safe on my end. Um, and, uh, you know, keep it from going public right now, but I did want to add, um, this updated, uh, news to you guys and let you know, essentially I had submitted the. Um, expedited uh, uh, application at uh, like 3.30 a.m. Sunday morning, and it is Monday. Um, well, this email came in Monday at 1.30 p.m. So, I mean, if I sent it at 3.30 a.m. on Sunday, and it's now 1.30, or I received this email at 1.30 on Monday, I mean, less than two days, my friends, you could potentially get your DUNS number. Um, if you are in a position where you're trying to apply to some of these grants, some of these government, um, you know, uh, uh, programs where, you know, you're, you're being contracted as a worker, um, or again, you just want to get some of these grants. Sometimes they require or, or ask for your DUNS number. So now I will be positioned many of you who follow through with the steps that you know i showed you in this video um will now be positioned where you can actually qualify for you know a, a contracting contractor job or a grant um or something of the sort that requires your duns number so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if so i would definitely appreciate it if you gave it a nice little thumbs up. It does help me. It does help the YouTube algorithm. So other self-employed entrepreneurs and small business owners will have a better chance to come across this video so they can register their business and get a DUNS number. Um, and also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on all of my latest videos. And after that, leave a comment down below letting me know if you already have your DUNS number. And if not, are you going to get started on uh this application process today? Hopefully so. All right, guys, I'm going to keep it moving, but you already know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.